Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of FTB Sky Odyssey. Uh, I got a lot of comments in the last episode about me just doing this. And I need to press F4 because I don't have sounds on my headset. But that's just the thing that I should have done and gotten a portable creative tank. And what we can do here, uh, we're just going to come down to this guy and we're going to do a... Uh, let's just do a never active just so it drains all the power and all of these machines uh, will drain power I assume I, I don't know if these have backlog pretty no it's deactivated no output do you still how are you facing downwards that shouldn't be the case and these guys, yeah, they're draining out of power. So I'm just going to wait for uh, for this to finish. It's going to take only a moment. But then what we can do, basically, this guy is full. So we're just going to accept a bunch of quests. Uh, so let's just go here, here, here. And then let's just do all the claiming this. All of it. Here we go. We see the tank is emptied over there in the background. Uh, and that's just going to give us a whole lot of things. Uh, and it's just gonna do do a bit okay and the, everything is empty so what we can do then is we're gonna grab this we can grab all of these tanks and we can totally move this somewhere else but since we have it set up here it doesn't matter uh, and we're gonna take this portable tank do I have a coal bucket I do not okay so uh, let me just also all the conduits are invisible again which is weird so let's just place one of these tanks back. Um, do we have to do? Um, what I'll do, actually, uh, we're gonna get a flux point. Just one, and we're gonna put you here. Give you some power. Just so you make a little bit of liquefacted coal. Uh, and then I'm gonna grab a bucket. Buketo. Because uh, I don't have it in the system. Can I grab directly out of you? Wonderful. We're gonna toss you there. We can remove this. You're gonna be full of liquefacted coal, which is fine. Uh, so this is now um, infinite coins, basically, because I can just complete this repeatable task as many times as I want, because it's gonna immediately get re refilled. So um, how much money do we have? 6.287 million, and I'll collect enough in between episodes that we can complete uh, this quest this quest for 10,000 coins or 10 million thousands coins. I don't know how we want to do XP. Oh, actually, I do know how we want to do XP. We're going to take fluid laser relays. Uh, we're going to come over. Where is that thing set up? Right here. We're going to go here. Web up. Not an ender tank. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. We're going to put this guy here. I'm going to put a creative tank right there. Laser there. I need my laser wrench, which should be somewhere in here, probably. My compass, laser wrench. Uh, also, let's just toss all of these away because we don't need them. The cache, the resonator, the ender tank, the effect, coal bucket, points, game over loot crates, upgrades. This I don't need. The engineer's workbench we are going to need in a moment, I think. Uh, so, if I do, I have a XP bucket. I do not. So, let's grab another bucket. Or a couple buckets at least. Uh, and we can just do this. Just grab it from here, I think. No, can I? There we go. Liquid XP. Put it in there. We can create a upgrade here. And then laser, laser. And then we do only into, only out of adjacent blocks, only into adjacent blocks. And it should just like immediately fill this guy. Yeah, so if uh, how many levels did it, did it want for that quest? Uh, 1,508, so let's store all, retrieve all, and <laughs> it's filled again. It's just like, ah, we're at max levels. Magical. That's what the power of creative items is. Uh, so can I do this? Quick complete. And I can't store them anywhere. Um, hmm, hmm, why do you not do your thing, or must I put it in, is it a task thing, hold on, task, screen, give it to me, 
Are you a task screen by any chance? So if we do task uh, XP levels, I assume it's a task screen. So what if we take this laser? I assume these work through blocks. At least I hope they do. If not, we're gonna place it somewhere in the back, but we're gonna laser wrench, laser wrench. Yeah, it does. Okay, and then we just need you to be on only into adjacent blocks. No, this doesn't really work because it's XP levels, not liquid XP. Hmm. If not, I can just uh, remove all my XP with a command only into adjacent blocks. There we go. Uh, but it should be working. What if we do? Uh, what if we just remove this? We can uh, can grab a trash can uh, for liquids. Trash can fluid. Like that. Put you right here. Laser, laser. Only into adjacent blocks, only out of adjacent blocks, and bam, bam. So you should be empty, right? And we can store, 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 store. store. Okay. So if we break that then, get you another laser here. Only into adjacent blocks. This should be full again. So how much levels did I need? Uh, bu 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 for the quest, I think it was 1,500 and something, 1,508. So if we, okay, that's gonna take a while. Okay, let me see if I can retrieve exactly 1,508 and see if we can complete that task. 1,508 acquired, uh, XP levels, haha, -ha. and it's 99? So do I need one more level? In LA. Give me like another. Can I just do that, please? There we go. Okay, we got it. Sheep trophy, random reward. Quick complete. Okay, sheep trophy, you're going on my trophy stands here. Boom. Uh, and next order of business is the completionist. So we need to do that. A hunt of one million uh, buckets of UU. So not a problem. We get a creative portable tank. We're just gonna do a uh, that, and then I can do a laser relay. Boom, boom. Uh, we can do out of, only out of adjacent blocks. There we go. Uh, and we need a task screen probably. So it's just. We're gonna do this like very much all over the place just to complete the quests. So out of adjacent, into adjacent, boom, boom. Task, oh, that's Atheum. Why do I have Atheum on me? Uh, ba -ba. Task screen, Atheum, go away. Task screen, I'm gonna say tasks, UU, and we're gonna complete that one. That's UU. Do I need to like right click you on the into adjacent blocks? Ah, there it goes. Okay, you you matter complete, and then we can uh, sneak right click tasks, you you, this. Okay, completed. Wonderful. So that one was here in the fluid expertise, so we can collect that reward, and we need life essence, so we just need a tank. We need also refined fuel, uh, and biodiesel. So finale, you you matter. Uh, claim random reward and donkey trophy. So donkey trophy, and we got that. Okay. So what if we make a blood tank next? So tank. Uh, let's do. Oh, it's not a tank. It's an altar. Uh, blood altar. Oh, we need to do the whole demon will thing. <sighs> okay. Snare. Come to me. Go. Give it to me. Snare. Oh God, too many snares. Uh, do I have a way to spawn the th wither skeletons without killing them? That spawns them. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, boop. Um, you know what we need to do? We need, conf uh, what's the, the, the 
Control C. No. What do I have to open the GUI for this? Uh, I don't know. Hold on. I have it on numpad six, so we can go here. We can change attack radius. And we can go to 2.0. Oh, I would need to upgrade this. Right, 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 right. Okay, that's fine. So let's just uh, snare, 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 snare. Do you work on these mobs? You're not giving me the particle effects. Animations. All on. Done. Done. Yeah, some of them are giving particle effects. And I'm putting everything in, the, in an EMC link, I think. Um... Yeah, they do get white particles. Oh, we got a demon will. Uh, do we have more downstairs? Because we're probably going to need more of it. Uh, oh, it gets probably put into the system. So let's do demon or will. No, it didn't go inside. Okay, that's fine. I think we're going to need another one though. So let's see if we can get an aggro for one more guy. Come on, get your white particle bits. I'm just gonna throw all of these. Got a couple demon wills. Okay, that's plenty. So let's put the dark glass back and turn off the spawner. We can just turn this on just to finish them off. That guy doesn't want to die. That's fine. Okay. So let's get rid of a little bit of the things that we got from the skelly bobs. And then the altar we had right here, right? Altar. Altar. Boom. Uh, we're going to use the lowest quality will to make this. Nice. That's a quest completed. Uh, we can get a <clears throat> sa sacrificial dagger. Oops. Okay. Uh, we don't really have regen, but you know, it's fine. What we can do is we can get a tank. Uh, tank, I said. And we can do that. Laser. Do we have more of these lasers? Laser. We do. Wonderful. So we can do that. Boom, boom. And then we can grab our compass and we do only out of adjacent blocks, only into adjacent blocks and a creative upgrade. Nice. And then we can do only out of adjacent blocks, only into adjacent blocks. And that should start filling this guy up, right? As far as I know, uh, Apple I said Apple. Doesn't that start filling it up? It might need to be a higher tier, I guess. Um, but we have a creative portable tank. Do you, will you keep your inventory? You do. Magical. Okay, so I can break this. Uh, and let's go into a spot here. <clears throat> Let me grab some factory blocks around here. Let's do the uh, factory. Let's do the grate. And some of these probably. Let's, let's just get uh, a little bit of a circly bit, right, like this. And then set up the blood altar here in the middle. Oops. Not what I wanted. I have purple part. I have all the particles now. But I don't think we're going to need any more particles anyway. Uh, so let's get those off. Video settings, animation, potion particles off. Okay, so middle would be bam, 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 Alter. Wonderful. <clears throat> and then the runes are going to come here around anyway. So let's get, uh, we're just going to uh, place a block so we can stand on uh, while we're here and get some blood in. We can also do the slates have EMC. No. Okay, so we need a 
We just need a conduit. And then a filter. I need a limited item filter, if that is a possibility. It is. Okay. So we're going to put you here on the insert. And we're going to grab a piece of stone. Just one. Uh, and we're going to add you right here and say one stone. And the extract can be disabled. And then we're going to grab a cache. Cache. And we'll put you right there. We're going to upgrade you and say stone. And then we can extract always active. And that should keep one stone inside. <coughs> and we can just sit here <coughs> nomming on our golden apples and regening the heck out of this. And getting our <coughs> blank slates. Uh, I need also another conduit. Bop, bop. And then we need a crate. Let's grab one of those. Oh, I tossed my sacrificial dagger away. I'm just going to craft down the one we're going to extract and insert. Uh, and then we're going to grab a filter. Because uh, if that's the case, it's just going to extract, keep extracting the stone. So we're going to do that. We're going to blank slate, filter, blank slate. There we go. We can grab the stone, toss it. Not toss that in there, that there. Okay. So we also need a Hellfire Forge, probably. Uh, so that's not a problem. Let's just get that crafted. Hellfire Forge, wonderful. Uh, let's place you like right here. Uh, and we need a Tartaric Gem. Tartaric Gem. So that's Gold, Lapis, Glass, Redstone. So Glass. Uh, let's grab a stack of glass because we're gonna need a bunch of these anyway, and let's clean up the e oldy inventory a tiny tiny bit So that goes away that goes away that goes away that goes away That that okay So portable tank you're gonna go Like here and we're gonna see if we can transfer into it um, Let's do a conduit and I was making the Hellfire Forge, but let's just see if I can do that. Will you transfer in blood? I don't know. Because this is life essence, right? Yeah, liquid life essence. That should be transferring to the inside of the tank. At least as far as I know, this should work. I don't know if you need the tanks from blood magic. But that requires blank runes. So we need to do some things manually. But let's do glass. Uh, lapis, redstone, and gold. Gold. I'm just going to scroll wheel one gold in, and we need a demon will of a quality of one or something. Uh, one higher, or higher than one. <laughs> That's the word. So we get a petty tartaric gem, and what we can do then is just toss these guys on the floor, pick them back up, and they should go into my gem. Wonderful. Uh, and then I need to kill mobs with a uh, sentient sword, sentient sword, which is, I believe, a iron sword and a petty tartaric gem with zero will. Uh, we just need a petty tartaric gem inside. So what we can do is take that, do another one, and then grab a sword. Okay, and then we toss a sword in with that and those out. That should make us the sentient sword. Yeah, actually drain zero will. That's pretty cool. And I can come over to the wither skeleton farmy thing, but I'll probably set up, uh, we'll probably set up something up here that we can kill for life essence and we can also kill for the sentient sword. I'm going to put down probably two spawners uh, in the same spot. So let me do a tiny bit of work off camera to set up another like a little uh, dark glassy room uh, and we should be good on that part. So I may or may not have died because I right clicked with the sacrificial dagger one too many times. Uh, but I have a tier two orb now and a tier one as well. I, I just made that off camera. I got all my stuff back. Uh, I only cheated in the petty tartar gem because I didn't want to grab the stuff out of the, uh, the inventory again. And also the sentient sword. I also enchanted this guy with sharpness, reaper, sweeping edge, unbreaking, looting and mending. So we can get uh, uh, draconic souls as well we, out of this if we wanted to. 
Uh, but we need a next thing here. We need to toss these in here with my Petty Tartaric Gem. And actually, we'll just do it like that so we don't craft one too many. Because these should repair with my Repair Talisman if I place one down. Uh, yeah, there it goes. So we have basically one that's going to last us for forever, which is really cool. Uh, and then I believe we need a Blank Rune. I also added a Watch of Flowing Time, so that uh, does things very, very quickly. And if we do that... Uh, we you can see that it crafts Fairly quickly with the blank slates and stuff. I'm currently crafting reinforced slates uh, And what I can do is I have a self-resetting lever here for 10 seconds So I turn it on and after 10 seconds it's gonna turn off just so we don't uh, build up a super supply of wither skeletons And I can just murder them and get uh, the things that I want. I added a Ranged collector down here to collect everything the stone swords the loot crates the sulfur and all of the drops So I don't get anything in my inventory. I also put a dislocation normalization field projector That is a mouthful uh, that uh, uh, Basically this blah, Makes this not collect stuff basically <laughs> makes the magnet not work. That's the words uh, I also have this portable tank. There's an internal buffer on the tank and it slowly fills up you can see that it's going up by 20 slowly, very, very slowly, but then it drains super fast. Uh, if I do this, if I turn you off, you can see that it's it's filling up like a little bit every so often. I, I'm pretty sure the watch of flowing time is making it go faster. Yeah, there it goes. Uh, so you can see it going up slightly. Uh, if we disable this, and once that one's finished crafting, if we kill a few skeletons, you're going to see that it, it does raise up. So you can see it's going up by 20. And decently fast with the watcher flowing time. So we need to get some uh, some special runes that will allow us to get uh, uh, to get the transfer of blood into the altar a bit faster. I believe these are called the runes of displacement. These guys, uh, they they use just a blank rune and an imbued slate, which is a tier three. We're currently at a tier two, so we need I think twenty total runes next. So I could just do. Let's do this. Let's grab you and say blank rune. Uh, and we're just going to turn you on and craft it up. And I'm going to turn you on and just fill up the altar. Uh, just for the moment. Just so we craft up another like 10 or so runes. Uh, and we need just here. Let's do rune. I have it here already. So let's do that. That. Toss all the slates in. That's 10 runes. Uh, and is there... There's the... Uh, at blood magic. There's a book that allows you to see inspector scandalum and send you sentium uh, either that so let's grab a book book ah. Come here turn you off turn you on all the levers Okay, book boom Set to tier 2 set to tier 3 Ah, there we go. That's that's better. Okay, so I'm gonna need to move the trash can so we can go like down here and set up an insert. I don't even have speed upgrades on this. Uh, let's do speed, just so it uh, cleans up the inventory a little bit faster. Wonderful. So then we need to go down here and do five like so, and over here. I need five like that, and then I need more blank slates. We have 11. Uh, let's turn you on. Turn you on, and click a little bit more. Because it's super fast on the blank slates, it's not a problem to keep up with the blood. So we have 12 now, and let's do like that. That's going to be six runes. So we can come over here and do another one like that. And then we just need four more, so eight total slates. It's going to be three be done any moment now four let's get another one or another set at least i also made the incense altar which is a uh, quest that we need to complete so two runes left and then i need four glowstone so let's get that glowstone one two three four and i'm just gonna use factory blocks these it doesn't matter really so let's do it like that And like that, and like a so, and then that, 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 and that. Uh, slates. 
Okay. I made too many runes, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna use them up to, to make the next stuff anyway. So if we just turn you off, turn you on and get a bunch of Wither Skeletons here so we can fill up the altar, we should get a tier three rune, which should be pretty cool. Uh, it's draining pretty fast as well. There's a tier three rune, so if we do this, uh, and we'll just, uh, we don't need to add you to the thing because you're gonna make another one anyway. Uh, so let's grab a, add blood magic is fine. So speed rune is for crafting, sacrifice rune is to get more blood, which we probably want a few of these, uh, but we're, we're gonna, actually we can upgrade a few because we can just take, uh, let's say one, two, three, oops, three and four of those. And we can probably get it upgraded because it's just the second tier orb. And then these slates, so one, two, three, four. Let's get like that. And the runes should go into the system and the orb as well. So if we toss you here, we should get a tiny bit more blood per wither skeleton. Uh, and let's get an extract on imbued slates because we're going to need these anyway. Uh, so let's kill a few more of these. Get the dark glass back as well. Boom. Okay, so the displacement rune was water buckets. We can probably do that here. Uh, I mean, you know, we probably have water buckets on the thing. We do. Nice. Uh, can I do another one? Awesome. Sweet. So let's place you... Let's leave the four blanks there. Or at least the two blanks for the moment. We're gonna replace the levers, but it's fine. So that should mean that I can transfer blood. Yeah, it's going in much, much faster now. Yeah, 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 that's pretty cool. Uh, and we need to turn you on to extract the imbued slates. So I think it's just an upgrade on these. Oh, this is not making anything because it doesn't have the right runes. Okay, go. <laughs> uh, whoops. So displacement. I just need one more slate. Let's get some wither skeletons because this is running out of blood. And at some point we're probably not going to need the wither skeletons if we get uh, fast enough displacement that we can just fill up the altar faster than it drains. Uh, so let's get you out, put you down, and then get another displacement going. So that was an imbued slate and a blank room. And that's capacity. It was the other way around. Or no, it was the full buckets. That's what it was. So let's get lever levers back. This guy needs to be on. This guy needs to be on. <clears throat> and make me one of the <laughs> imbued things. Uh, we can put a capacity down. That's not going to be an issue. Not gonna, it's just going to increase the capacity of the altar to 12 something somethings. Okay, imbued. Displacement. There we go. That that lever on. Amazing. Okay, so let me grind up a few more runes uh, to get to the next tier, uh, and possibly I will upgrade uh, some of the other ones to the displacement ones, so we can get the transfer of blood in the altar a bit faster, and hopefully we can keep up with the crafting speed. I have upgraded the altar to tier four, no, tier three. Tier four is almost set up. We just need the top blocks here. We need the, uh, I believe they're called blood bricks. Uh, and we need to do some things with the with the reagents here. Uh, so let's just grab a blank slate. Uh, I think it's, uh, how do we make the divination sigil? It's a redstone and a blank slate. So let's grab another redstone, redstone. We're going to toss you right here, and it makes a really cool derpy, derpy face, and then we toss that in there and does its crafting thing. So then let's toss gold, redstone, lapis, and that over here to make another tartaric gem. Because we're going to need two if we want to upgrade anything. So we're going to take that one with that, that, and that, and it's going to make the next here. And then we can take this guy and this guy, and I believe you just right click something. You right click this guy to empty. And then we can toss it back in here and toss that guy back in there. And we don't have enough will to craft the second tier. So let's just turn on the Wither Skeleton Scanner for a moment. And we can fill up our will decently fast. 
to be slow on my swings to get the sweeping edge effect. But that should be plenty for the next tier. Or for the next tier, for the second one at least. Um, okay. And the tar Tarek gem. We also got the divination sigil, so we can just right click it. And we can see that we have 25,000 uh, LP. And then the orb of the tier three variety is a gold block with 25,000. Okay. So gold. Uh, I don't know. I have uh, 18,000 millibuckets capacity. We'll see if that's enough. Uh, I think I'm making tier three runes right now. Yeah. We'll see if I'm filling it fast enough for this to, to do the whole crafty thing. Possibly not. So let's turn you on. Let's get the Dagger of Sacrifice ready so we can just help it out a little bit. Because it needs to absorb 25,000. Oh, it, are you done? Oh, it's done. Okay. That was quick, en quick enough. Uh, so we can toss that in there and it's going to fill up. Oh, and it's keeping up. That's pretty cool. Okay. So that should, I think, do 100 something thousand uh, buckets or so. Uh, we can fill this up as well. Also, one thing that I wanted to do is do the quantum crafter because people said I need to do this and I, I, why didn't you make just the, the quantum storage disks because I have all the all the storage disks here. Uh, so quantum storage disk, this with the quantum storage unit. Okay, can I time in a bottle you? I lost my time in a bottle. Time, even though this is kind of like, yeah, uh, we can just use a watch of flowing time time and let's do pedestal just make me a stack of these and I'll toss them in like my, uh, my portable grid here so we can just grab them out uh, whoops boom 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 you faster kind of you're taking your time 30 seconds one speed Okay, that's going to do its thing. We're going to just leave it be and it should make a quantum storage disk. So that should store pretty much an infinite amount of items. Uh, this, I assume, filled up my network. Yeah, 150,000. Okay, craft some more some more runes. Uh, so to get to the uh, next tier of the altar, we need the binding reagent, which requires a minimum 400 will. And we can get in the lesser Tartaric gem, we can get, I don't know how much, but I need to fill it up and I'm gonna get ready to craft the next tier of the Tartaric gem. Uh, I mean, I'm probably just gonna craft it off camera because uh, because we can. Also, we're just gonna do this so we don't fill that other one up. Uh, just so we fill this to the brim, which actually isn't taking that long. That's 256, yeah, so we need the next tier of uh, gem. So that would be the common Tartar gem, which is an imbued slate, a diamond, and a block of gold. Well, let's do this together, actually. Two have so many imbued slates. Give me one, two. There you go. You can get rid of this. And skulls go away. Levers. Fine. Okay. So imbued slates. It was gold. One, two. And diamond, I think. Yes. One, two, okay? So if we toss those, 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 and that, and that, should get me the greater Tartaric gem. How much does it take? 240 will. So that is, it consumed more than what I needed. So we're gonna just empty you, turn the spawner on for a moment, and we should, it shouldn't take us too long to get to the will that we need. Let me just leave it, maybe not fly, so I don't crit everything, and then I don't do sweeping edge. We had 240, we're at 400 something. That's plenty. So let's get you in here upgraded. Magical. Uh, I'm gonna toss you in my storage thing. Okay. Uh, buy crate. Whoosh. <laughs> Stone, drops of evil, that stuff can all go away. Uh, all right, so this guy needs uh, the reagent. Reagent, that would be this. So it's redstone, glowstone, gunpowder. So glowstone. Uh, we just need the bound blade. Glowstone, redstone, powder, and nugget of gold. So we can toss you four in there. Do I have 400? I do not. So let's get you going. A little bit of 
will. There we go. Now we can kill everything. Okay, 835. That's plenty. Okay, make me the binding reagent. We're going to put an arcane ash down. It's going to make a big thing, but that's fine. And we can do that. And then grab a sword. Do I have a diamond sword? I do. Boom. Okay, do your thing. Uh, we're going to do some more of this in the meantime. Uh, but that does a whole lot of lightning stuff, and it just crafts the sword for you. Hopefully it doesn't drop off the edge. I might actually watch it. There we go. Bound blade. Wonderful. I think uh, I think it's bound to me. Yeah. And we can just come here. Kill some of you guys. There we go. Did I get... I got three weak blood shards. So the uses for these is with uh, chiseled stone. It makes bloodstone tiles. So we can just do that, that. Let's clean up this sugar. Get this stone out of here. Get the bloodstone tiles. And I believe these work for the... Or do they... It looks like they need to be bricks. So let's do bricks. I... They could be bloodstone tiles as well. It might just show the bricks in the thing. But that should be a tier, a next tier altar. It doesn't say. Do, can I not see what the altar type is? This tier four. I can see it on the top. Okay. Uh, so that's tier two, tier three, tier four. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to lock you just so we get the last tier slate made and see if we have enough displacement for the crafting, which is looking fine, I think. Yeah, I think it's all right. So we get the demonic slate. So start making some of these, please. And I'm going to upgrade all of these slates because I have enough imbued slates to upgrade them to displacement because I don't really need the sacrifice anyway. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Okay, uh, let me see uh, if the quantum thing is complete. Are you done? You are done. Quantum storage disk. I need, I feel a sneeze coming. Okay, sorry for that cut. I had to sneeze. Um, but, 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 do I have any other? I just have this storage disk, right? So let's do quantum storage disk. We can keep this 64K. We don't need to transfer things over. But what we can do is get rid of all of this. Uh, so just clean that up. There we go. Get rid of the disk drives. That, that, that. Bloodstone bricks, books and quills, redstone tools, blank slates. Nagar sacrifice no longer needed. We can get that in there. Bound blade can go in here. Actually, we're going to turn you off just so we can toss you in there. Okay. Nagar of sacrifice, I'll toss you in here as well. That's fine. Okay. So the next order of business for blood magic is to, I think we need the next tier altar as well. So let me just get that going here, tier five, sneak right click, uh, and we can see how many runes we need. And I will just turn, did we make the demonic slate? Oh, we did, I need to turn this on, there we go. Um, but I'm gonna change that to the blank rune, uh, just because we need extra runes and I'm just gonna leave you be and do your work. Actually, it'll take you out like that, wonderful. So that needs to do a little bit of its thing. So let's look at quests at what we need. We need a rune of augmented capacity and a demon crucible and the archmage's blood orb and the master ritual stone as well. So let's go with the rune first. Rune of augmented capacity. That's a rune of capacity with a demonic slate and possibly the next tier orb. So let's get the orb first. Uh, that's going to be you, which is a blood shard. We do have those. Uh, and we can easily get more with the demonic uh, blade. So let's just turn you off, turn you off. Actually, turn you on. There we go. Like, this is filling up decently fast. Well, we, uh, we have just enough. We might be low on the next tier, but this should fill up uh, like so. We actually don't need to right now. Uh, so let's toss the orbs away and get the rune of... We can get the ritual stones as well. So let's do that. Grab the reinforced slates. And then make the ritual stones. And that's my phone ringing. And that would be the master ritual stone. Okay. So I need to talk to my sister. Hold on. <laughs> 
I looked at my raw footage and it's over 30 minutes long. So we're gonna try and do this really fast. I need to make the demon crucible. I made over here in the quests, I made the uh, ethereal slate. The altar is now tier five, I believe is the, the, uh, the next tier, which is the beacons and all the runes on the side. So that would be a demon crucible like so. And the next thing that we need is just the blood tank tier 10. So let me craft that off camera. Everybody is probably screaming this entire episode. And I just like, I had did the biggest face bomb because caches. I could may have made one blank rune or one blank slate and had infinite amounts of blank slates. <sighs> so we can do this. I don't think we're ever, we're gonna need to do blood magic anymore, but you know. Just, whoops, not that. Just to be on the safe side. It's, uh, it's all the runes that we ever need forever and ever. Go away. Here we go. Uh, blood tank to 10, sure, I'll grab two. I'll put them in here. And blank slate. Infinite amounts of blank slates. And also, you know, like blank runes we have in there. Uh, let's grab one of you. And we can replace all of these with displacement if we wanted to. Just like the biggest fey spawn ever. <laughs> well, rip a dip dip. Uh, so I think this is going to be it for today. I keep forgetting that I have infinite items. Like, I keep forgetting this. And I will probably forget it till next episode. But you know, it's it's the things that happen. So with that, I want to thank you all for watching. I'm hoping you enjoyed this, today's maybe a little bit longer episode. And if you didn't, make sure to hit the like button. Also, consider subscribing to see new videos. Support me on Patreon if you want. We just started, started a new Sky Factory 4 server. And I changed a lot of the tiers to remind you again. So go check that out. Link in the description. And with that, I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.